Hello there. Thanks for clicking on my video and thanks for listening to my dog noisily lick his crotch in the corner. Howard! 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 Hey! Don't. Thank you, sir. If you caught my previous video, I did a entire video on my recommendations for the upcoming Sephora VIB sale. In that video, I mentioned possibly doing my wish list. Now I feel like a total monster for yelling at him because he's looking at me with like the saddest puppy eyes. Anyways, in that video, I had mentioned the possibility of doing a video all about the items on my wish list. Several of you guys said yes, and honestly, maybe I'm being a little greedy because I thought this would be helpful, still helpful for you because maybe it'll give you a few ideas, but honestly, kind of more helpful for me because I'm hoping several of you guys have tried these products. That way you can tell me, yes, push me over the edge, tell me they're great, do it, click purchase, buy it, or you could be like, uh, it's so-so, save your money. So first up is a brand that released, I wanna say last year, I'm pretty sure the brand is Kaja, which translates to Let's Go in Korean. So I think the entire theme of the brand is supposed to be very compact, travel-friendly type of just at least that's what I'm kind of getting from looking at the products. So the main reason I haven't tried anything from this line yet is because a lot of the products that intrigued me the most looked like products that were very similar to ColourPop, which is way more budget friendly. And I already know that I love ColourPop, but maybe I should just go for it anyways, because one, it's gonna be on sale, and two, I could always do a video kind of doing comparisons for y'all. So this is one of their newer releases. It's called the Moon Crystal Sparkling Eye Pigment. There's eight different shades. They retail for $16. It's just a very cute squeeze tube type of packaging, component, whatever you wanna call it. But honestly, whenever I look at it and whenever I've seen swatches online, I'm kind of getting the feeling that it's going to be similar to the ColourPop Jelly Shadows, maybe just a little bit thicker. I did watch, whose video was it? Dang it, I can't remember. Whenever she applied it to her eye, it was pretty, but it kind of seemed like it sheared out pretty quickly, which doesn't surprise me because a lot of Asian cosmetics are more low impact. They're very pretty, they give you shimmer, but it's not something like ColourPop that's punching you in the face with a ton of color. But the shade Magic looked so pretty to me. I've been so into these duochrome chameleon type of shift shades, and that one just caught my eye. I also added Tiger's Eye onto my list, which is more of a brown taupe. I just thought that would be very pretty for an all over lid shade. So like I said earlier, if any of you guys happen to have tried these already and you love them or you hate them, let me know down below and everybody else who's down in the comments. Okay, I did have one other product from Kaja Beauty. This, I wanna say, was their very first release on the website. This and then their little heart cheek stamp blush which honestly things like that like while they're cute I'd rather just have a normal cushion blush recently I placed a huge order for several different Korean beauty products so I will be filming that soon but I have the beauty bento bouncy shimmer eyeshadow trio wow that's a mouthful this retails for $21 you get three different shades in there $7 each versus $5 for the super shock shadow but I have the shade rose water which is the rose tones in my wish list those shades just look beautiful I always love anything like pinky rose gold the other shades were really nice too too, but I think this was something that maybe I looked at swatches on trend mood or something whenever they first released because that's a product that's been on my wish list forever and I just kind of forgotten about it but that definitely is something that I want to check out all right moving on I'm not quite sure if this brand is called the inky list or inky because it's like one word but there's an e uh, I don't know. I want to say inky because it sounds cuter. Whenever I look at this, the entire like theme, the line reminds me a lot of The Ordinary. Everything's just very simple packaging, black and white, straight to the point. There's serums, moisturizers, eye creams. The price range is very similar to The Ordinary. Some, maybe just like a couple dollars more, but still pretty much in that same price range. So the first thing that I have in here is the Polyglumatic Acid. It retails for $14.99. It says it's a powerful hydrator that holds four times more moisture than hyaluronic acid. I love hyaluronic acid. That's something that is always in my skincare routine. Downstairs, I have one from Derma E, and then upstairs, I'm using one from Jane, is it Iredell or Iredell? I've heard it both ways, I'm not quite sure, but I love hyaluronic acids. I don't discriminate, and the fact that this one's supposed to hold four times the moisture just sounds very interesting to me. And for $14.99, how much do you get? One fluid ounce, I'm willing to try it. There's only two reviews right now, so that five stars I feel like doesn't really say much because two people loved it, you know? Next up is the Retinol Serum. This one retails for $9.99. Once again, you get one ounce. So just like many other Retinol Serums, it's supposed to help with fine lines, wrinkles, dark spots, dullness, and uneven texture. It says that it has stabilized Retinol 1% and Grand Active Retinoid of 0.5%. 5%. I was really interested in the Drunk Elephant Retinol 
was it just like a cream serum before but I took that one off I don't know and honestly I've been reading more and more skincare blog posts lately and I'm thinking maybe I should just even skip on this 99 and just go to my dermatologist and ask for a prescription for some actual prescription strength retinol cream but for $9.99, I'm like, oh, shouldn't I just try it? On from Marc Jacobs Beauty, we have the Sequins Glam Glitter Eyeshadow. Now, I don't own any of these, but I'm almost positive there's another one that comes in silver lid packaging. I'm not quite sure if it's the same exact product, but the exact shade that I have in my wish list is called Topaz Flash. It's described as a smoky bronze. It's a limited edition. Oh, it's limited edition. So I mean, I, I have to get it, right? Glitter packed eyeshadow with bold pigment and maximum sparkle in six eye catching shades. What drew me to this was a Pixie Woo video. I always get their names confused. I think it's Sam, right? Who has like the incredible blue eyes. Everything and anything looks incredible on her eyes, but I was watching a video where she laid down a nice brown, like deep bronze base, and then she tapped some of this on top. It was incredible the light hit it perfectly it was beautiful it was shimmery it was everything that i love you guys know i love these stila glitter and glows i need i don't think i brought water in here but she used topaz flash and it was stunning i need it i want to put it over like laura mercier coco caviar eye stick and i think it'll be beautiful and limited edition just honestly solidified that decision for me okay moving on i have another skincare product from ula henriksen this is the banana bright eye cream this has four stars but with 2372 reviews so it retails for 38 dollars there's vitamin c in it as well as like collagen boosting properties but what really makes me want to try this is that it's supposed to kind of be like a banana powder where it really helps and brightens your under eyes and just kind of evens everything out. I am almost finished with my It Cosmetics Bye Bye Under Eyes. I've really liked that eye cream. I find it to be very hydrating, but if this one hydrates and helps with color correction, that just sounds really nice to me. Before this, I had the Charlotte Tilbury Magic Eye Cream because I love their normal magic face what is it called isn't it just magic cream right charlotte's magic cream yeah so i have the face cream which i love and she has an eye cream version as well it's 60 dollars, which i don't mind investing in skincare but if this one moisturizes and has the whole color correction brightening then i feel like that's more bang for my buck so i do want to give that one a go maybe that'll be some oh no at first i was going to say like a sample but that's the pot kind who knows how many other people have stuck their fingers okay in the so next product is actually something that i've wanted to pick up for a while and it's because of my friend shelby here on youtube i'm sure many of you guys watch her already shelby wilson she does just very everyday wearable type of makeup so if you're someone who's not really into a ton of color or you just like very fresh face looks she is someone great to watch but in so many of her videos she uses the Milk Makeup Matte Bronzer. So it's just a little retractable chubby stick, which whenever I look at this, I realize I have not been able to find my Milk Makeup Blur Stick in forever. And I loved that primer. But it blends seamlessly on our skin. It gives her the perfect amount of warmth. Like I said, I love cream products. So I feel like this would be something that I really like. I do have the Nude Sticks in, what is it called? Is it Bondi Babe, I think, which I do like. Um, I've used quite a bit of it, so I probably don't really need this product. But if I plan on getting it eventually, I mean, I might as well get it when it's on sale, right? Right. Okay, moving on. I do have one other product from Charlotte. Oh, I guess this is the only Charlotte Tilbury product I have on here. I was thinking I had other ones just because I mentioned the magic cream. Her Airbrush Flawless Finish Setting Powder. This retails for $45. And honestly, now I'm kind of like, Mer, maybe I don't want it because once again, I saw Shelby use it the other day and she was saying that it was kind of just okay. She felt like it was too flat and matte. Whereas I've heard other people, oh, it's so smoothing and nice and pretty, but I'm like her where I like very dewy and glowy products. So as soon as she said that, I was oh, maybe I don't need this. So honestly, that one might be removed this was a recommendation from samantha ravendahl 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 she mentioned this in her vib recommendations it was either her recommendations or yearly favorites last year and i keep forgetting about it i need to get in better habit of actually opening my sephora app whenever i'm in sephora but the um atelier cologne in nil and you know what i'm gonna save myself the embarrassment and you the secondhand embarrassment basically i think it translates to intense vanilla which i love warm vanilla type of scents so that just sounds right up my alley i want to smell this so bad and then the very final product on my list i'm 99.9999 percent sure i'm like the last person on youtube 
to what well, I can't say own it because I don't have it yet the Fenty Beauty gloss bomb just the original shade I believe it's called Fenty glow I see so many different Instagram pictures or someone on stories and their lips always look like juicy and glossy I'm like ooh, what gloss is that and once again 99.9% .9 of the time it's one of the Fenty Beauty glosses I don't know why I have it I actually know I do I have a ton of glosses no I don't need any right now surely I have something similar but anytime someone is wearing that I swear I fall in love and I'm like what is on your lips so I think it's my time. I think I'm gonna make myself an official YouTube beauty person and buy that because I want juicy lips too. I feel like I'm missing out. But there are some of the items. Well, actually, those are all the items on my Sephora wish list. Let me know some of the items that you guys are lusting after down below. If you haven't already caught my recommendations video and you're looking for some items or inspiration that may be helpful for you. And yeah, that is it for this one. If you haven't already, I would love if you subscribe. That way we can hang out some more in the future. I hope you guys all have a great day and I will see you in the next one. Bye.